Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Sly, and I wanna talk about what Michael Irving said, the playmaker, about Trey Lance. Let's check this out, guys. From the players that you've spoken to, from the coaches that you deal with, what do you think of Trey Lance now being QB1? And if you're Kyle Shanahan, what is what is your priority with this young man between now and that first game, week one in Chicago? Anybody else, too, though, man, anybody else here, I would be worried. I would say this is not a smart move. If anybody else was doing this. But but this, 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 with Cal at the, at the, as the head coach, this, this, this I'm, I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with, and I can't wait to see it, you know. And, and, and I'm expecting him to have an incredible season for a young guy. I'm not saying he's going to win MVP, but he'll have an incredible season for a young guy. I've watched Kyle Shanahan have some pretty good success with guys, with backup guys that are way less talented, way less talented than, 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 than Trey Lance. So I'm expecting him to have some success with this kid, with the upside that he has um, in, in his body. How, how many games do you think the 49ers will not win because Trey Lance is essentially a rookie? Or does that become irrelevant after about four or five games? Oh, well, that's a great question. That, that's a great question. I, I don't know if I could pinpoint quite an answer on that you, you would try to say how many games is that worth you know because how, how many games will his ability to run who had it was his ability to run that's an ability over jimmy garoppolo's ability to run can you say will really help them they will really help them win a game you know what i mean because there's some give and take there how many games will, will it cost us because they can they will confuse them on the back end with some coverages or some stunts or some blitzes, as opposed to how many games where they earn because you ain't see a quarterback run like this behind this kind of run scheme with these kinds of run games, so with this kind of run game, and then how he how he adds some things to it. Maybe he's moving like he's running and he's able to back up and drop a bomb somewhere on somebody. They're going to get a few games that way too. So so yeah. If you, if you lose one or two, three games here on on him not recognizing some of the more difficult and, and diverse schemes, I think you get one or two games back with you not recognizing this kind of talent at quarterback before. All right, guys. After hearing that man, he's going to have an excellent season, according to Michael Irvin. Now, I really like Michael Irvin, what he actually said. Remember about Debo Samuel? He made the the video uh, he went on i believe knbr and talked about how he wanted uh debo samuel to stay with the 49ers and you can't replace a guy like that now he's talking about trey lance and he's saying he believes in him you know that he trusts him that he's gonna have some things that are gonna go bad for him like some games he may lose but then some games that he probably should have lost he's gonna win it's gonna be a give and take and i agree with that man you've never really seen a quarterback like this you know with that rocket arm that can run like he can so i'm excited i really like that what michael Irvin said i really agree with him you know he's going to go through his growing pains obviously as pretty much a rookie even though it's a second year but um for him trey lance man you just we've never seen a guy like this you know with that rocket arm i know he hasn't been the best in training camp but you have to keep in mind he's going against the best defense in the nfl probably so um, it's just going to help. It's iron sharpens iron. You know, he's just, he's going to get better from what's going on right now in training camp. Remember in OTA's, uh, mini camp, he was having a really great, great, um, camp. And now he, he's going against all the studs. All the studs are here on defense going against them. They're a bunch of dogs. You know, it's a little rough, but it's growing pains and he's going against, uh, studs out there. So I agree, man. I agree with the uh, playmaker. I really think that he was right. He was right with the whole Debo Samuel situation. He called it. He said, Niners have to stay in them. And he was right about that. So I'm really banking that he's right about this, man, because he's one for one already, man. And I want the playmaker to be two for two because I truly believe he will have a pretty great season. You know, he's going to have his ups and downs. Do I think he's going to be MVP? A lot of people are saying that Lewis Reddick's of the world saying MVP. I don't think so, man. I really don't. This is going to be his first pretty much year. I think he's going to. Uh, uh, light the store, light the NFL on fire. Though I really do think he's gonna have a really, really solid season. Pro Bowl, I say no. 
but I think it's going to be enough to help us get us back to that NFC Championship game. Hopefully, it's against the Rams. Hopefully, it's at Levi Stadium, um, where 99% of the crowd is going to be um, 49er fans. You know, I know SoFi was 50%, 50-50, but I want it to be 100, 100%, you know. So, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be really cool. Hopefully, uh, playmakers right, and I think he is. So let us know what you guys think. Do you agree with them? Do you not agree with them that he's gonna have this big season? Uh, let me know down below, guys. Make sure to like this video, comment, hit that notification bell. Go Niners! Peace.